Good morning everybody and welcome back to Farmer Boise. It's been a few weeks, but I'm back. If you could subscribe and like this video, it'd be much appreciated. It helps me grow my channel. Let's get farming. How's it going everyone? Hope you're all well. Um, yeah, we're uh, we're on the Cocklin. So we're, we're knocking down some uh, rape stubble. We're, uh, we're mixing it in. We've had a little bit of a chit, so as many of you in the UK will know, we've had quite a bit of rain recently, um, and we've lost quite a lot of our oilseed rape onto the ground just before we cut it. That's already germinated. I don't know if you can see out the windows. The windows are a little bit dirty, and that creek in the windscreen is back, which is not ideal. Um, but yeah, the, the oilseed rape has already started to germinate underneath the, the chaff that came out the chopper. So uh, we're just knocking it over, just lightly, just to get another chit of all the weeds. So any charlock or, or possible black grass that might be out here, we're just, yeah, we're just knocking it over to try and get that under control. So it's not the smoothest. We're doing, what are we doing? 14 and a half K. It's only in very lightly. You're not really meant to go that fast with this cultivator. Um, I think it's a maximum of 12, but it's hardly in the ground. So it's, it's literally just scratching the surface just to get a chit on those weeds. So uh, I think we're gonna look at getting a stubble rake in the future. We had a demo um, from the, the dealers that we get the cockling from. And uh, yeah, I think we will get one eventually. It's just getting it into the budget. Yeah, it's going okay. The ground's nice and soft, which is unusual for this time of year. Normally it's baked out rock hard, but it's been so, so wet that it's, uh, yeah, it's ideal growing conditions for weeds. So we should get a really good check on, on all of the weeds out in this, uh, in this field. So we're on the Cocklin Quadro. That's what we got on the back today. It's been here not quite a year yet. It hasn't done that much because last autumn was very wet and we conventionally farmed a lot of it with a power hour drill. Um, but what it has done, it's been fantastic. We've just changed all the wings over to tungsten. They were all just the standard ones from the factory. And uh, yeah, they're all, they're all tungsten wings now, so they should last around 1,500 acres. That way we won't incur too much downtime, apart from the maintenance daily. Just greasing up a few bits and pieces, checking the nuts on there once a week. Really, this thing can just keep rattling along, so that's great. So it's that time of year again, it's silly season. We've got out to our left here, we've got um, a flower mix of conservation there along underneath the pheasant pen. You can probably see there's like stripes in it, or hopefully you can see past this dirty window, but there's stripes in it. We have to top 50% of that a time, once a month. And as you can see, it's greening up again in, in between, and that's for all the flowers to come back again. So. Uh, our other conservation strip around the outside. It's got a few weeds in it now because it's the second year. That's still doing really well. It's full of butterflies, full of wildlife, and uh, yeah, doing a great job. We got some wheat out there. Quite a poor field of wheat, really. It's had a hard life. Um, we'll be getting into that quite soon as well. And we, we're going to start hopefully the wheat today. So we've, I haven't filmed anything. It's been quite hectic here, running around, buzzing around, doing other bits and pieces, but. We've, we've cut our oilseed rape, as you can see, we've cut our winter barley and we're pretty much finished with our spring barley now. To be honest with you, yields on everything are down. The winter barley was a bit pinched um, and the oilseed rape was a little bit light on the ground because, well, it was heavy on the ground but light in the tank. Um, and the spring barley's pretty much the same. The hectolitre weight or the bushel weight is quite low just, just because of this wet sort of beginning to summer, late spring, that we had when everything should have had a bit of sunshine on it, filling out the ear, and getting a nice full grain. So uh, we'll make the best of what we've got anyway. Morning everybody. Um, yeah, sorry I haven't been on for a while. It's, uh, the start of this video was about three weeks ago, I think, or two weeks ago that I filmed. Um, and. Um, yeah, I have been on for a while. Harvest has been pretty disastrous in all fairness. We've had rain here on and off every day for the last two and a half weeks. Um, 
and when they said it was going to be sunny like today it's uh, yeah it's not been we had a good dry day yesterday so we were hoping to get going again today um, and uh, yeah it's, it's just it's not happened it's um, it's just been a complete disaster from the beginning well we, we haven't end, ended it yet we've got another four or five hundred acres left to do I think roughly um, and it's just not getting anywhere. The moisture's not coming down during the day until about three, four o'clock, and it's only getting down to about 19 then, so we're having to dry everything. And it's just been really difficult, very stressful. Um, but anyway, anywho, we are now power hands and plowing down. So this field down here is that real stony field that you've seen in one of the uh, previous videos. We decided to give it a real deep plow, try and turn those flints right underneath. And uh, now we're power hiring it. So heavy clay cap here, chalk in places, heavy clay cap with with massive boulders of flints. And uh, it was ploughed about a week ago. A week ago tomorrow it will be. And uh, yeah, it's rock hard. It's gone rock hard. We haven't ploughed this field for five six years so uh, yeah it's uh, it's pretty tough I think I'm gonna be down there a while doing this how's it going everyone it's now Tuesday morning so we finished power harrowing out here yesterday um, and we're now out here on the sprinter so we're putting in some oilseed rape um, I think the variety is acacia and uh, yeah we're drilling that at 4.2 kilos per hectare so uh, yeah it's not going too bad it's not as flinty as it was out here before we ploughed it which is good there's a few that have come up to the surface with the power harrow stirring them up a bit but nowhere near as much we've got a bit more soil this year which is great uh, and uh, yeah it shouldn't take too long to, to drill this field I reckon a couple of hours we'll have it done we're gonna leave the headland because the headland at the far end is very knobbly so we're, uh, we'll leave that and we will come back and power harrow it again and then we'll drill that probably later on this afternoon if, it, if it's worked down good enough, if not then tomorrow morning. So. What do you reckon pup? You glad to be back on the drill? You glad we're back on the drill? Yeah! Evening. It's now what is the time? 8:30. Um, finished off the drilling in the two fields I was in. Come down to drill with the other one down here at Garston, and uh, yeah, wouldn't go. Needs a little bit more work on it. So it's on the trailer, um, and we're here. We're cutting a bit of winter wheat. The varieties illicit, and uh, it's going well. We've got I don't know what we've got three passes left in this field. The 77 acre field. And then we're back off up to the farm to do a small field of home saved seed. So, um, yeah, probably another another 15 minutes here, header off, quite a long jaunt up to the farm for a couple of miles, and then uh, and then we'll get into that little field of home saved seed, and that will be all of the winter wheat cut then. <laughs> 